y'all this is mina means once again i am the time oracle it is friday night august 9th 2024 we are at the 21st hour eight minutes in it is 9 8 p.m Woo, honey it is 9 8 which is 8 9 backwards It's 9.08, which is 8.09 backwards. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, the karma. Woo! The karma though. Mm -hmm. Somebody walks away. Somebody walks away is what I'm picking up. Without a word, without saying a word. Mm -hmm. Somebody walks away in silence. It's like they have nothing else to say. Someone has nothing else to say. And they walk away. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Hesitation. I'm picking up on hesitation. It's like somebody wants to say something, but they're not going to say anything. They're just going to decide, let me just walk away. Let me just not say nothing and just walk away. That's what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. But they're going to have a lot to say, though, once they do walk away. Mm -hmm. It's like they got to eat their words. Boy, oh boy. They got to swallow the words they want to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy. Somebody want to say something, but they're not going to say nothing. They're not going to say a word. That's just what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. It's 911 on the clock, boy, oh boy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Something is over. Something is finished. Something needs to stop. Something, I feel like at this point, walking away would just be the best thing. Just walk away. Just walk away. That's what I'm picking up. Mm hmm. Yep. Because something is over. Something been over. I feel like somebody's trying to rekindle a situation here. That's that, that been dead and gone. Karmic energies are all over the place. It is now 9-12. In military time, 21-12. 2-1-1-2. It's like, let it go. Let it go. Something been over. Somebody's trying to rekindle a situation here. Let it go. It's like they have no choice but to let it go. That's just what I'm picking up. Let's get in this book. I see the letter L. The letter Y. The letter J. Why am I looking at a stethoscope in reverse? I don't know. Something about a medical problem here. Mm-hmm. I 
I see so something is crooked. Something is crooked. Or this could be a crook. Because it kind of looked like a stick figure. You know how children draw people and their stick figures with that little circle head? That's what it looks like. But the body is crooked. I see the head, I see the body, but the body is crooked. Somebody's a crook. Mm -hmm. Something's not adding up. Something that somebody is saying is not adding up. Somebody has said something and it just doesn't add up. Something is not adding up. But this little crooked stick figure is going left. It's already on the left page, but it's going left. So somebody decides to let something go. Walk away from this. Somebody is going to leave a situation alone. Something that doesn't add up. And this is something from the past. Again, left page energies. This is something from the past. Something that doesn't add up. Somebody is mind boggled somebody can't sleep over something something that doesn't add up it's kind of like one of those horror movies or those mystery movies where you always got that nosy person always trying to like figure out what's going on and, and, and it's like your best bet is to just let it go because something about to happen to you trying to open up some can of worms. You ever see that in movies? There's always somebody that's nosy. That's always trying to figure out something. Just let it go. Before you get yourself, you going to get yourself in trouble trying to find out. Let it, let it go. I see two T's, T's like Thomas. It's like two crosses. It's like a cross on top of another cross. Two plus signs maybe. Two people. This could also be a scar too. It could be a scar. It's starting to look like some stitches to me. Mm-hmm. Boy, oh boy. And this is on the left page. I see somebody laying down. Somebody is laid up. There's a heart. Something about a heart. I don't know if this is a love situation going wrong. I don't know. But there's something here about somebody being laid up in the heart. Somebody's, um... Somebody's mouth is stuffed. Some here looking like a baby too. Like a baby. Something here looking like a baby. Something here is looking like a baby. Somebody's yeah, it's like somebody's mouth is um stuffed. Mm-hmm. Somebody's ancestor, honey. Somebody's ancestor. I see a big heart and I see what looks like a ring too. The number six. The number, oh, I said the number, honey. 
it looks like a number but i wanted to say the letter b but it, i i also see 32 something about 32 but then also the letter b i see a sad man's face over here somebody feels some type of way on the right page Somebody got cut off. I see some scissors, honey. I see a clean slate on this right page. Ain't too much going on over here. Definitely endings and new beginnings, though. The letter F like Frank. Something about Facebook. I see F B like boy. Let's get these cards. Right action. Number 19, right action. See a three-headed female right there. Standing in the middle of a lotus flower. Mm-hmm. Speak to me, Heavenly Father, what's going on? Speak to me, Heavenly Father, what's going on? We have... Three energies. We have serenity, number 12. We have 14, sensitivity. And we have 26, love. Something about love. A love from the past. Somebody love you. Somebody in love with you. Somebody want you. Somebody want to try to offer you love. I don't know. We got the truth. Somebody either wants to know a truth or they want to tell you the truth. I don't know which one, but this says truth at the bottom. We have fear, play, flow, oneness, beauty, bliss, detachment, integrity, fortune, cosmic consciousness, healing, and power. We have beauty in the one o'clock. Somebody finds a feminine very beautiful. Somebody is in love with a divine feminine. This could be somebody from the past. Beauty, beauty, beauty. This is in a one o'clock position in Aries' house. Mm -hmm. We have integrity. Somebody has to be careful with how they move. This is in the five o'clock position. Somebody has to be careful with how they move towards the divine feminine. Mm -hmm. We have fortune. Fortune is here in the seven o'clock between play and cosmic consciousness. There's a lack of trust here is what I'm picking up. Somebody don't trust the person. Mm-hmm. Somebody doesn't trust somebody here. Because it's like... Okay, we have integrity. I love this card. It's in the five o'clock, but 
you know you see a man on a bull he has a, he has a sword so he has to be careful with how he moves it's like he's coming for somebody he has a sword he's coming towards somebody fast too he's coming towards a feminine the energy right after that integrity card is play this is eight this is in the sixth position i don't know what may have transpired on august 6th but eight is in the sixth house and there's a female this is like leo right here she's she's sitting on top of she riding a lion okay he, he riding a bull he might be riding a bull in the five o'clock, but she taming the lion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Somebody has to be careful with how they move. When we go to the four o'clock, we have detachment. Cold. Just straight cold. Somebody ain't got no feelings or somebody is cold on the inside. I don't know if somebody wants to come back to apologize or make themselves clear or ask questions. Somebody wants to have a conversation. Or maybe somebody just wants to tell the truth. Maybe somebody is saying, look, hold on. I ain't trying to do all of that. I just want to just talk to you. I just want to damn you know i ain't it ain't about that let me just kind of talk to you somebody wants to heal the situation it says healing here this is in in in, in the 10 o'clock somebody wants to heal the situation okay we have flow flow is right where it's supposed to be between cosmic consciousness and healing somebody just wants things to flow smoothly we have cosmic consciousness in the eight o'clock Somebody is playing stupid. Somebody playing dumb. Somebody knows what's going on. Somebody knows exactly what's going on. But there's a lack of trust here is what I'm picking up. There's a feminine energy. She rolled dolo. It's a, it's a oneness. She by herself. Look at this beautiful card. But she's always, she, it's like she has to always be mindful though. She's in the three o'clock between bliss and detachment. How do we have 45 in the three, 44 in the two? Come on, bliss in the two o'clock position. It's moving in the right direction. But then when we get to the four, we have detachment. Somebody is cold. Somebody want no parts of this. Somebody is tired. We have power over here in Aquarius's house. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at the fear. This is Kali energy right here. Look at Kali. Kali, she doing what she usually do. She chopping heads off. She got one dude that she done stomped on. He laid out on the ground. She's standing on top of him. She, and and she, then she's holding somebody's head. And that's not even the head that belonged to the person she trampling on. This is somebody else's head. She's in the 12 o'clock in Judas's house. Somebody is tired. Let's not forget we got this woman here standing on top of the crocodile. She don't care. She really don't. She's standing barefooted on top of a crocodile. We don't know if that's a crocodile or an alligator, but she, she chilling. She don't mind. She'll take some pain. If it means that she got to trample upon snakes and serpents because there's a lack of trust here. But there's something here about love. It's like somebody wants to come back and be all, you know. It's like somebody trying to come in to try to get in somebody's feelings. Trying to rekindle somebody's feelings. Somebody want to get in somebody's heart. 
Somebody is trying to warm somebody's heart because somebody's heart done turned cold. But with good reason, though. With good reason. Quit playing. Mm hmm. Bottom line, somebody either wants to tell somebody the truth or find out the truth. I don't know which one. But somebody has to tread carefully, trying to move towards the divine feminine because there's a lack of trust. Speak to me, Heavenly Father. What else can we clarify using this masculine deck? Speak to me, please. What's going on? The reward. Another nine card. This falls between nine and ten o'clock where we have flow and healing. This is going from right to left. Somebody, it's like, I don't know if somebody wants to give you something or somebody looking at a divine feminine like, yo, she is the reward. That's what you're supposed to be pursuing right there. Like, that's just what I'm picking up. Somebody's trying to figure out a way. Look at the inventor. We have energies that fall on top of cosmic consciousness, 8 o'clock position. And we have the comedian with the teacher. Two cards. The comedian with the teacher. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants to kind of get in your good graces. It's like somebody wants to kind of butter you up. You know what I mean? It's like they want you to put your guard down. Somebody want, want to come in like the romantic. But I don't know. Because Kali wouldn't be showing up. She wouldn't be showing up. She's in the 12 o'clock position. Why is she here? There's always a reason why Kali shows up. It's like somebody is saying, please don't be Kali right now. I'm just trying to come in and talk to you. And love on you. But I don't know. Something ain't right with this energy. Something's not right. Something's not right here. We have the final approach. Final approach. This is somebody scheming right here. This falls on top of the fortune. Fortune is the feminine energy. And she over there in the justice house. Quit playing. Final approach. This is somebody being sneaky. This is the seven card. Somebody's being sneaky. Something ain't right. Somebody's a con artist. Look at the entitled prince. I can't make this up. Somebody want to come in to try to like get in the female's good graces. Trying to warm up her heart. She cold for a reason. She done detached for a reason. Now somebody want to try to come in with love and sensitivity. But what you want though? What you scheming on? What, what are you really scheming on here? What do you want? Anything else? We got a whole bunch of energies. Fell between 8 and 9 o'clock. Today's August 9th. I can't make this up. We have integration. Somebody's hoping and praying to see you again. They want to come in with, with the flowers and being a romantic. Take you out to dinner. I don't know. Okay. They want to provide for you. We have inventor. But why do we have all of these good energies and then we have the charlatan somewhere in there? This is no bueno. This is a phony ass person. This person is not to be trusted. Coming in like this. Look at the caregiver. You don't care no way. They trying to come in with fake ass love. Quit playing. Look at the tests and trials. Trying to test you, stress you. Somebody coming in to try to stress you out? What? Absolutely not. Look at the resurrection. Something been done. Something been over. Let it go. This is the 11 o'clock. Anything else? Gathering aid. Gathering aid. This is somebody that's like trying to get help. It's like somebody's... Let me find out. 
somebody trying to gather aid, like trying to get people to find out about you. Look at the, the lost dreamer. Somebody looking at a divine feminine move on like, wow, I can't believe this person done moved on. The lost dreamer. We got the adventurer. Moving on up. Come on, divine feminine. She's the five card, the fortune. She done moved from the five position to the seven. She's good. Leave her alone. Look at the speaker. Trying to get people to find out information. Look at the know-it-all. Trying to find out about this divine feminine. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. The know-it-all falls out. We just had this card at the bottom. This is somebody that's, that's telling. Let me find out somebody out here getting paid. To gather information. We have lover. Trying to find out about this divine feminine. To see if she with somebody. Who she with. Who she talking to. What's going on. How she move. Anything else? Nothing else is coming out of this deck? Okay. Look at the wizard. A whole magician out here in these streets. Quit playing. What's the word? Lazarus and pestilence. Somebody needs to let this go. Somebody needs to let this go. There's something here about a health issue. We have nine o'clock and the creator. Sagittarius energy with the God card. Fell on top of integrity in the five. Somebody has to be careful. This pisses somebody off right here. The fact that they have to be careful. Because somebody is guilty of being sneaky. Somebody don't want to have to do things the right way. They want to do things their way. The sneaky way. The crooked way. Somebody's a crook. Only way to get into somebody's heart. You got to come correct. You can't come like this. Okay. Look at Nathaniel at the bottom. Libra energy. Anything else? Signs of the times fall out with the light. And Psalms 109. Somebody got to be careful. Somebody got to be careful. Somebody, somebody knows the truth already. Somebody see things clearly. Look at karma at the bottom. Somebody see things clearly. The eye of a needle. Somebody will never, ever, ever get through. Somebody can't come in. Somebody cannot. Somebody been trying to get into a female's life like trying to get through a damn needle. The eye of a needle. Let it go. Let it go. Cain and Abel, siblings. Two brothers or two men. We have a child. We find out. We have a child. Somebody trying to get somebody pregnant. Is that what this is? This fell on top of the love card. Love child. Somebody, we got baptism. Somebody trying to get a divine feminine pregnant. But the way they coming in, it's not cool. Look at. Cancer energy, Andrew. Okay, the way they coming in ain't cool. Who touched my garments fell out on the floor in reverse. Hell no, somebody ain't got no faith. Absolutely not. So somebody doesn't, it's like somebody is saying, please have faith in me. Please have faith in me. Look at the man. The man flips over. A man. A man. It's like a man is saying, please have faith in me. I done turned my life around. I'm different. I'm different. I've turned my life around. I'm not that person I used to be. Please. Please have faith in me. But why, okay, but, but if you want somebody to have faith in you, why do we have Psalms 140 here? Why do we have deliver me from my enemies, though? You want somebody to have faith in you, but you coming in as an enemy, though, a silent one. Quit playing. 
Sagittarius energy. 14. We got Psalms 131. We have pandemic. We have spring. And we have, oh yeah, little faith with Judas. Somebody wants a feminine to have faith in Judas. That's why we got Kali in Judas's house. Absolutely not. You coming in to betray this feminine. Get out of here. Somebody coming in to try to, to, to try to get, come on. We don't got time for this. Matthew 22 at the bottom. Winter is in reverse. Fell on top of the healing. In Matthew house. We got passed through the fire. A whole energy fell off the clock. This is what fell off the clock right here. Psalms 23. Somebody could return and send her a whole damn spell just with the Psalms 23. Quit playing. Look at Mother Earth at the bottom. Anything else? Luke 10, 19. Quit playing with me. Anything else? The stone the builders rejected. With the death. It's over. Let it go. Just let it go. Something about this coming autumn. Okay. This flips over in my hand. Along with James. Gemini energy or the house of communications. Somebody is going to try to make themselves available. Somebody's going to try to make themselves be around. Try to catch somebody. Trying to be where somebody else is at just for the sake of a conversation. Let it go. Psalms 59. Quit playing. Something's not going to work. Let it go. Anything from this mean deck before we close, before I go to the oracle, anything from this, a fight. Look at this fight right here. A fight. Somebody is guilty. Somebody is guilty here. Somebody is coming. Listen, this is what they're really coming from. Butter a female up, getting her good graces, make it look like, yeah, it's all about love, blah, blah, blah. But they really coming in as a Judas, and this is why the hell Kali is here. Somebody better leave this female the hell alone. Can I get one card? Think, mm -mm, I'm not doing two cards. Damn dark magic shows up again. Look at the purpose. Somebody got a jar and somebody doing dark magic. I'm about sick and tired of these energies. Okay. Look at psychic healing. We got psychic healing at the bottom. We're going to go with psychic healing because I ain't about to shuffle this deck all damn night. It says. This herb. Mugwort. The moon goddess. Artemis. And her wise White owl meets you as you enter the liminal space between one life phase and the next. Your channel is wide open. She is instructing you on how to draw upon your psychic powers to pass through this test within the realms of shadow. You are not lost. Oftentimes, the greatest clarity dawns after the darkest hours. Owl Medicine asks you to use the powers of keen psychic sight to observe and intuit aspects of your life that may still lay in darkness. Confront that which is unworthy of your devotion. Eradicate destructive forces. Pay attention to the signs and omens that appear as you navigate the labyrinth of the subterranean forest. Listen, take whatever resonated with you, leave the rest. This is Mina Means. Once again, I am the Time Oracle, and I always leave you with peace, love, and everything beautiful from up above. I'm out. One.